Hi YouTube, this is Rose and this is my show pertaining to Rose. I just wanted to put out a really short video here for you today on a little bit more of a somber note. And I'm not even going to go into the whole coronavirus and all that. I just wanted to make this a short notation. I'll probably lose subscribers over this, but oh well, I'm going to say it anyway. Are you an accomplice to murder? I really want you to think about that for a second. You know, I don't care who you voted for. That's your business. But I really want you to think hard. I really want you to think hard. Some of these people out here that are running for the presidency, they, they believe in killing babies. They have other agendas too. They eventually want to make it so that you can put your elderly parent to sleep. Not forever, like a dog. They have other agendas. Much more deeper and farther than that. And I don't know who you plan on voting for. Like I said, I don't care. That's your business. But, you know, when you're accomplice to murder, you're going to spend the time. Now, my uncle has said it. I've heard prophets say it. I've heard quite a few people say this. So, I'm not just pulling this out of my head. But it, I gave it really deep thought. You know, when you go into that voting booth. And you vote for somebody. That plans on killing babies. You're an accomplice to the murder of that child. You're going to spend the same amount of time in hell as they are. Repent now. If you already voted, repent. Repent, repent, repent. Really look. The people back in the days used to sacrifice their children to Baal. <coughs> they sacrificed their children. They thought it would remove sickness from the earth. They did all kinds of crazy stuff. It was horrible. They did just things that are beyond our imaginations. And these people that think it's okay. And I don't know what happened in your lifetime. You know, it. I don't know how you got pregnant with that child. I don't know your story. I don't know your business. And I'm sure I'm going to hear a lot about this. I don't know how any of that came to place. But I don't plan on voting for anybody that believes in abortion. I'm not going to spend time. I wouldn't go to jail for a person down the street that I knew committed murder. If I knew they committed a murder, I'm going to turn them in. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to tell on them. I'm not going to jail over the knowledge of somebody doing something horrible. You know, we really need to start thinking where this stuff is leading us. It's really, really important that you really start thinking hard about this. These people are going to go to hell. It's not going to be a slap on the wrist. There's going to be a judgment day. And you don't want them to pull you right with them. A lot of these people know where they're going. They already know they are going there. And they don't care who they take with them. You know, we need to really start talking to God and getting personal with Him. And repent. Repent, repent, repent. If it's something you did in your past, repent. God knows where your heart is. He's going to search your heart for the truth. And He knows how you deeply feel. Just tell him, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I plead your mighty blood over my heart. I plead your mighty blood. He hears that. His blood speaks for you.
just really think before you go off and do something crazy. You know, these people, they have other agendas and it's horrifying. And you don't want to be caught up in the mix of what they're doing. That's something that is very powerful. You know, you want to make sure you have a right standing with God. Repent now. I just wanted to get that out there. And I know I'm going to hear a lot of slack over it and that's okay. That's okay. I just wanted you to realize what's going to happen. And I want you to think, because I don't want to lose you either. Uh, I want you to know I love you all. In the name of Jesus. Okay. Bye, guys.